on a certain project I've been working on. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so big. Here you go, girl. So, it's been a while since I announced I was working on this thing. This is going to be my giant Sunny. So, to give you a comparison, she is sitting on my bed and she stands probably about three feet tall if I set her on the floor and tried to balance her on her one leg. I did decide to go with some toes. She's got like a dog style toe with five toes up front and then the one toe on the side like a dew claw. I am, I did, I realized this after I put the horns and the ears on, but I may have to take them off to put the scales. So at first, I wasn't sure if I was going to do scales on her at all. And then I got a little bit of an inspiration from a crochet YouTuber I watch, Complicated Knots. If I can, I'll leave a link in the description. So what I'm basically going to do is have, at least on the legs, have this front part here up to where the toes are. Covered in scales up to here. And then hopefully have this part of her head down her back, down her tail, covered in scales, this color, and then have her underbelly. Let's see if I can get it real quick. This, a combination of this color here, and this brighter gold color for her underbelly scales, which I think would turn out really well. And something I know I did have to do was remove her spine. So, I did have to remove her spine to so I could get the scales down her back. And she did she does have another leg. I think it's in here. I currently have just been throwing stuff around. Oh, well, there's a restroom in here. He's not finished, but it's a restroom. Uh, I'm not the best organized right now. I barely organize in general. And there's a squirtle in here. Which probably should go up on my shelf. Oh, here's the other leg. So this is what the leg first looked like. This is what the leg first looked like. And then I changed the design to add a shoulder and the toes. So this after I get the scales on this first leg here, I'm going to go ahead and work on the rest of her legs. Maybe get the horns and ears off so I can start on the scales down here. I did decide I was going to do a bit of another... I'm going to do a small square of... Her main color right here, just to kind of support her neck a little bit, make it so that she's not uh, flopping like she normally does. 
And she's not normally sitting on my bed, by the way. Uh, normally, probably, in, um, in the most recent, uh, Complicated Knots live stream, I participated. And for those of you who were in the comment section, I mentioned she was sitting in a chair when I was watching that live stream. At the point when I made that comment. So, she does not normally sit on the bed. She normally sits in this chair right here. Which is also where I go and play games and stuff when I'm taking breaks from crocheting. And for a bit of comparison difference, this is a little dragon. This is the normal size dragon. Next to this big Goliath. So normal size dragon. And to get the size for this, I doubled this one once and then doubled the double of this. So very big. And then for another size comparison. So that's a normal sized one. Let's see if I can find one without having to dig too far down. Uh, that's not the little one. This is a little one. A little rain wing. Also a bit of a spoiler for the redesigns. By the way. So this little guy is about half the size of the normal. And about penny size compared to this thing. Just a big old Goliath right here. So I'm going to put these two back. If I can get this untangled. And speaking of complicated knots, I actually made a few of their patterns. A few, a few of her patterns. Well, not made them, but made uh, projects from them. Like this cute little bunny. Uh, I, there should be an axolotl in here somewhere. Uh, ears, I kind of, I only altered the ears a little bit. Made them slightly longer and then sewed them onto the side of the head to make the floppy-eared one. Adorable. Uh, there's a few more floppy-eared ones in here. This one's absolutely adorable, the little purple bunny. Uh, you can definitely see the array of dragons <laughs> just sitting in here. Uh, another rain wing. This guy kind of was, was left unfinished for a while. And then I finished him. I was going to finish him. And then I realized I ran out of his original color. So I just went with a paler uh, rainbowish color to finish him off. Uh, oh, mm. yes, I know it's orange. I made this purposely orange. Here's another Russia Ram. This guy is actually a donation for an auction for one of my craft shows that are coming up here in April soon. Uh, well, I might as well show these guys off, because I don't know when I'm going to get together the video. This is the redesign for the leaf weighing dragon. If I could not drop the camera, that would be swell. This is the redesign for the Leafwing Dragon. I am going to redesign this little sea wing at some point. I mean, it's not going to stop me from selling him at a craft show.
but I'm not quite happy with how he looks and how this one looks. So I'm gonna maybe make the tail a bit longer. Because the head shape and the body shape and the leg shape I like. It's the tail I'm not that happy with on this guy. And then mud wing, not much changed. I actually got the right colors to make a mud wing this time. You guys already saw the little sand wing. Well, I got a purple one there, and then I got this one that's blister that I may end up keeping. Don't know yet. You already saw the rain wing. This big guy is the hive wing. I got a really cool uh, tie-dye of black and some other colors for my birthday. And something I didn't even realize till later on, because I took him with me to a uh, worship night for my church. But if you shine, if you use a dark light on him, his neon green spots will glow in the dark for a short period of time. Silkwing, pretty much the same kind of design as the hive wing, but with little antennae. Uh, you can't really send them very well on this guy. Uh, I should have a little one in here somewhere. Also, <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Uh, this is one of the original ones I made. Just to kind of show the difference between this guy. Well, I might as well throw this one in here, too. This was the original Silkwing. The one I actually used in the video. These two look worse. These guys here, the redesigns, look a lot better and cleaner. Than what these guys looked when I first did them. Oh, here's the mini of the big guy. Hive wing. The mini little hive wing. Again, just... Like, about half the size of what the original is. These little guys are cute. And they're perfect for sitting on your shelves, actually. Little decorative pieces. Um, this one I am keeping. Because I liked how this guy turned out. This is the redesign of this little blue guy right here. So this would be the Skywing model. So what he originally looked like to what now he looks like. A whole lot better than what he looked like before. Uh, you guys probably saw it. But I am still keeping my original Leafwing design guy. Sit and stay. Uh... I'm not really the most organized right now. There was a... Oh, there he is. Mm. I did make a Bulbasaur. Cute little guy. Also from uh, Complicated Knots. And I'm kind of using this little guy as my pincushion right now. But I also made an Ankylosaurus. He's currently got a, needle, a needle 
a curved needle that I recently got and some pins and needles that I've been using for Goliath over there. Some other things I made, a uh, little turtle. Oh, I say little, but it's a turtle. There was another one over here. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Not in the bowl, please. So, little turtles that can stack on each other. Cute. Simple little designs. The original pattern I got for these ones uh, was a lot smaller than this. So I kind of increased the size and then changed it up a little bit to incorporate the very big one. And I made them purple just because. These guys are going to go in there and maybe make some... Oh, I forgot about this little guy sitting here. He's not even finished yet. This is the redesign of the Nightwing. Not much changed again, just I used a different stitch pattern to clean it up a bit. Not drop the dragon, please. I do have the other wing finished. I just need to get the stars underneath sewed on and then get the wing sewed onto this guy. Oh, he's just been sitting there. I completely forgot he was there. Uh, this is a slightly bigger Bulbasaur I've been working on. Uh, this guy up here isn't finished yet. But this is... Not much on this model has changed except for the tail. I made it more of like an ice spiked tail on these guys for the ice wings. Other than that, nothing's really changed. Um, this was my attempt at a wolf I did during a separate craft show. It turned out well, but so far my attempts to recreate what I did have failed. This is actually my Icon Lavender Wolf, this is actually my OC Lavender Wolf Bound, a little werewolf puppy. Boop. So I have attempted to recreate it. This I might just frog and reuse the parts of the yarn. But you can kind of get the gist of what I was going for. I was also attempting to make wings to make this like a winged one. I might end up finishing this guy. I don't know. I don't really have a wing design that I like right now. This one's pretty good. But I might try and remake it with maybe the crocodile stitch which I used for this. As kind of like the feathers at the end. I don't know. Uh, that kind of wraps up today's uh, little update. So yeah, I took a long break from this guy for a while to make the box full of stuffed animals that are for my craft show. Some of which I still have to finish. Uh, uh, this little guy you can probably see better. One second. Uh, this little ice wing, you can kind of see better what the tail design wear is going for. Just kind of like a little Christmas tree tail. That I think looks a lot better. 
This guy needs legs to finish him. And eyes. Well, this one I was keeping because I like the colors. And yes, for those of you who think it's a, it is a sparkly kind of yarn. It is... This color right here I use for it. I'm pretty much emptying out almost my entire thing of yellow, which is why I had to get the other thing of the big pale yellow for the underscales to make this big guy. Or girl, I should say, because it's going to be the Sunny character from the books. That kind of wraps up today's little update. Uh, hope you enjoyed seeing um, how big I'm actually making this dragon. Just comparison with this guy, which is the normal size I made them originally, compared with... Uh, little guy here, which is half, less than half the size of that guy, compared with this guy that's laying on my bed. <laughs> the patience it took to just get it this far was amazing. I've been working on this maybe two months now about uh six to eight hours a day working on this after school so far it's looking really good taking an extra step adding the scales on and redesigning some parts of him but when he's done he's gonna look she's gonna look amazing and I don't know how well you can see it on here, but these are alternating scale colors. It's alternating between the gold color here and the saffron color right here. And unless they're uh, side by side with like a big spool, you can't really tell the difference. And it just gives it kind of that shimmer. To make it look like it's a golden dragon, which I think turned out really well. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Happy hunting, stay strong, and 